Hello again, everybody. Drac here. And today we have to talk a, bit, a little bit more of a somber subject. Uh, originally, I did have a full-on agenda planned for this week, and then this news broke. And I wanted to be able to cover it personally because, well, this doesn't necessarily deem geek news material because I'm really the only fan of uh, Blizzard Entertainment and what they do. Aldo plays games uh, from Blizzard occasionally, but he's not, like, the biggest fan. Um, so... Literally yesterday, I think, it was either, yeah, I think it was Monday, that, yeah, it, I record these in advance, people, so um, so that I can get them out to you. Um, on Monday, it was announced that Chris Metzen, who is the lore master of Blizzard Entertainment, he has been writing story uh, stories and lore for Warcraft, Starcraft, a little bit of Diablo. I don't think he's entirely involved with Diablo, but he has been involved. Uh, he also helped out with the development of Overwatch, has now announced his retirement after many, many years. I mean, for a while there, he was pretty much the WoW expansion announcement guy. He would come out and he would say, here's what's new for World of Warcraft. We're coming out with Wrath of the Lich King or we're coming out with Cataclysm. And uh, now he has decided that it, at 42 years old, holy crap, man, 42 years old, he is packing it in. And he is going to retire from Blizzard Entertainment. Uh, I don't know if he's completely retiring. I think he's just retiring from like full-time uh, job status. Maybe he'll come in and consult here and there. But he has since left a, a full message saying, you know, here's why I'm doing this. And frankly, it's not. It's harder for me because I want to be able to to continue to write Warcraft and Starcraft and Diablo and Overwatch, but. Right now, the writing teams that they have for all of those franchises are doing well, and so the hardest thing for me is separating from that which I created. Um, and you know what? I can totally understand that because you've been working on this on these games for many, many years. Um, are you a? I would call you a veteran of Blizzard, but obviously, uh, to say you're a more of a a veteran than say Mike Morheim would be would be kind of lame to be able to say because Mike has been there since the beginning. Um, and then you came in, I think, around Warcraft or Warcraft 2. And I believe, if, if the stories are correct, I mean, he came in on one of the lowest positions for Blizzard and then worked his way up into being the head writer for, for Warcraft and for Starcraft, for helping out with Diablo. Being, I'm, I'm guessing at this point he was the head writer of Overwatch, at least to an extent. And um, people wanted to know instantly i mean as soon as, as soon as the thing broke i got a couple of messages from people just like what do you think about chris Benson retiring um my thoughts are that is amazing um because again like I, i'm not saying it's i'm glad he's gone no that's not the case but the fact that he's retiring at 42 years old and his job has been doing what he loves for that amount of time uh, I do think this guy deserves a, a round of applause. He he has done what a lot of us want to do. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying to get into my dream job here, and I would love to have been in it as, in it as long as he has, so that I could make this call at like 42 years old or 45 years old. Um, you know that I could retire from it. <clears throat> and we make jokes that like uh, individuals like Shigeru Miyamoto uh, will quit as soon as like security hauls them out. Uh, I actually thought that, you know, Chris Metzen, amongst a few other American developers, that was going to be the case, is that he was going to do this until he up and croaked. Uh, and and again, I'm going to say, I, I have a feeling they'll bring him on as a consultant here and there. And I, I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of Chris, of Chris Metzen. We'll, we'll probably see him at things like BlizzCon uh, as an honored guest or... Um, uh, another thing that, that comes to mind is that we'll see him uh, come in and... and talk about expansions or talk about wow or, or I have a feeling he's still involved with the books. So the, the Warcraft Chronicles, he's still probably involved with that. But I, I'll also admit that I kind of saw this writing on the wall. Um, nothing against Chris, but when, again, he's the expansion guy. He's the guy that came out and announced, I believe he announced Burning Crusade. Uh, I don't know about that announcement. He came out and did Wrath of the Lich King. He did Cataclysm. He did Mists of Pandaria. Uh, he even did Warlords of Draenor. Uh, the only one that he didn't do was Legion. Uh, instead, they sent Alex Afrasiabi to do it. And that's where I kind of I kind of raised my eyebrow and said, why isn't Chris there? 
Because I didn't see him on the panel at all. And I'm like, why isn't he there? Is he not involved with Legion? And so at that point, I kind of suspected that the writing was on the wall, that maybe they were stepping him back from from that lead story position and instead putting in Alex and putting in, uh, I can't remember the, uh, I think his name is Dave, the other uh, quest designer over at WoW. And I've also kind of seen him at BlizzCon, like he, he in particular stuck with either the Warcraft movie or Overwatch last year. So at that point, that's, that's a big sign to me too. Like he's not on a, I think he may have come into the Warcraft lore panel, but that was it. So at that point, it's, um, I'm sad to see Chris go, but people will also notice that I've, I've said a couple of things that are, I still think very true. Um, what I was also saying is that, um, I haven't necessarily been too kind to Chris in the last few years. Uh, nothing against Chris. I love his writing style. I love the stories that he's tried to construct. However, uh, I have to be honest in the matter in the fact that he is writing all three of Blizzard's mainstay franchises, uh, does, hurt the project a little bit because you start to see them bleed into each other. Uh, you, I mean, the, the biggest uh, example that I can give on that is a couple of the cutscenes in StarCraft two reflect uh, either iconography or uh, philosophy of Warcraft. Uh, in, like the, the, the cutscene with uh, zero tool actually involves a Draenei rune. Now I'm, I'm guessing it was originally Protoss, but then at that point you're like, wait, Okay, is this Draenei or is this Protoss? And so at that point, we started to see a little bit of bleed over into them. I, I noticed that he loved telling redemption stories. That's why I'm thinking he was involved in Legion, because this is a project that he didn't want to pass up. I have a feeling he, if there's going to be a redemption story for Illidan in here, uh, he did not want to pass that up. So, I mean, we already had kind of a redemption story for Arthas. We've had a redemption story somewhat for Kerrigan in StarCraft II. Uh, so we know that he loves writing these kinds of stories. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but Chris does tend to stay in that wheelhouse. And so in a lot of cases where people were wanting brand new stories, it was a good idea to bring people in like Alex, uh, to, to eventually steer the, steer the game in another, in other directions. Uh, so I'm not, I'm trying not to be to be mean towards Chris. I don't, I don't think it was a bad thing for him to do that. That you know that was his wheelhouse. That was the, what he knew to work with. And in, in those cases, those stories still worked. Um, you know, a redemption story for Arthas. It wasn't really a, de a redemption story. He dies in the end. Uh, Kerrigan gets a redemption story, but it's. I would actually dare say that it became more of a of a happy ending for for Kerrigan and Jim in the end. So at that point. While I do say that Chris wrote the same things over and over, yeah, he did, but there's not necessarily a bad thing in that. As long as it's written well, then then it's, you know, people like me will notice, but uh, the average viewer, no, not really. They're, they're still going to enjoy what they're playing. In fact, that might encourage them, if they like those kinds of story turns, to go check out those other games. Uh, so, I don't want to ramble too much on this, but let's see. Any other thoughts that I, I need to cover as far as like negative? <laughs> I don't, I don't try. I try very hard not to speak ill of Chris Metzen. I think he's actually a really good writer and I really wish a lot of writers in, in American gaming companies would, would take a step or two from him as well as Samwise Didier and, and, and the writing team over at Blizzard. But I do want to kind of wrap this up because <laughs> I don't want this to be a horribly long video. This is just discussing the retirement of a veteran developer over at Blizzard. And my thoughts are honestly, I'm, I, this actually does make me a little sad, sad because I was hoping at one point to be able to go to a BlizzCon and shake his hand. Um, I, I have always applauded his work. I've always enjoyed reading it. I've always enjoyed seeing it happen and unfold in front of me, uh, and especially because I think he was also involved in the storylines for Warlords of Draenor, and I would love to be able to, to shake his hand and tell him how great he did, at least for the Alliance perspective. I can't speak for the Horde, but I'm betting it's just as awesome. Um, and overall, I, I want to shake his hand. I want to give him a hug and just say thank you for some of the best stories that I've ever been able to experience in my life. And I know that's very Blizzard fanboy to say, but um, StarCraft was where I started. And the story that they tried to tell, I actually thought would be an awesome TV series if they ever did it. 
uh warcraft same thing i i still love my first time through warcraft 3 and being able to attach to characters like arthas and then see him make the decisions that he does in world of, in uh, in warcraft 3 and shed a tear because you know it could have been different so on behalf of myself chris metzen thank you so very much for the hard work for the dedication for the love for the passion that you showed these franchises. These games would not be half as successful if not for the writing that you did. You inspired many, many writers after. And you inspired the team that is now helming WoW. And I, I cannot begin to say how much I thank you, how much as a writer, as a voice actor, I admire you. I mean, for crying out loud, I've, I've tried so hard to get the Thrall voice down, but it's yours, man. It's totally yours. And just for, to be perfectly honest, you are what sells a BlizzCon to me. Uh, being able to see you step up and have those really passionate and geeky moments. You know, a lot, a lot of people complained a couple of years ago when we did, when you guys did a presentation of like, why are you geeky? And uh, I was I was one of the few that didn't complain about that. I loved it, especially how you presented it. So... Thank you so much, Chris Metzen, for working, for your hard work, for your dedication, for your love, for your passion, for your love of the fans, for will, being so willing to go out and meet with us, to shake our hands, and to deal with all of the praise that comes your way. And I, have, I can, for myself, say I will personally miss seeing your finger, uh, your finger on the, the penmanship in the story works now. Um, I hope they bring you in for key storylines that maybe you you helped to design earlier on. But I have a feeling we're not necessarily done with you. I think you're going to finish up the Warcraft Chronicle, and uh, then then you'll be good. But thank you so much for developing some of my most favorite characters in all of gaming. And uh, I will truly miss being able to see your handiwork in the stories at Blizzard but I know that they're in a good place because you've set up the most awesome writing team, the most awesome lore team in gaming right now. And thank you again so much for all that you've done. And I think that's going to go ahead and wrap things up. I'm really trying hard not to cry because it's one of those things where, again, I would have loved to have met him and just pick his brain on how he came up with half of the ideas that he did. And uh, yeah, he will be missed. So that's going to go ahead and do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for listening to me rant about uh, one of my favorite video game writers and the fact that he is leaving Blizzard. And, uh, of course, I will see you guys next time for the next video.